Welcome back to another video. Now in this current video, we are going to be addressing the MSAT physics and MSAT mathematics examination in which we are going to be selecting every single video as part of a series of videos, a question straight from the MSAT math and MSAT physics examination. This will help you as part of your MSAT practice, revision, preparation for your MSAT examination, whether physics or mathematics. In addition, take a look at the video description where we have very important and useful links for videos which are for our members of the channel in addition to links to courses and workshops straight on our academy which have been highly reviewed students are enrolling in the courses and they are seeing results now without further ado make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell in order to stay tuned with all of these releases for every single upcoming question now let's get right to the problem so we do have a problem straight from the MSAT mathematics examination. What is the period of the graph of the function below y equals to minus 2 over 3 sine 3 over 2x? Now, for such a function, we do have a general formula which says that, first of all, write down the general formula, which is f of x equals to a sine b of x plus c now this represents the parent function for such similar functions where we have a to be in this case minus 2 over 3 and b is 3 over 2. now we do have the formula for the period to be you need to memorize this at least the period equals to 2 pi over b so what is b in this case b is the following part of the function which is 3 over 2 so b equals to 3 over 2 what we need to do right now is take the b and re replace it back into the equation for the period such that we have the following equation the period equals to 2 pi over 3 over 2. so if you're going to simplify this we are going to say 2 pi over 1. Now we need to take the 3 over 2 to this side to simplify the multiplication, but we need to flip it in this case. We're going to say multiply by 2 over 3. This is a shortcut for dividing by fractions. If you're dividing fractions, 2 pi over 1 divided by 3 over 2, you're going to flip it. You're going to say 2 pi over 1 times 2 over 3 in this case. Simplifying the answer, we end up having 4 pi over 3, which is the period. So the final answer is 4 pi over 3. Let's take a look at the options that we have. And the correct answer would be A, which is 4 pi over 3. So how did we go about the steps? Let's recap them one at a time. We have the general parent formula which is f of x equals to a sine of b of x plus c. We need to identify b, which is going to be used in this formula, which is the period. Period equals to 2 pi over b. So we've identified that b is 3 over 2. We've replaced 3 over 2 back into the formula. So we have 2 pi over 3 over 2 is the period. Now, to simplify it further, we're going to say 2 pi over 1 times 2 over 3. Be careful with this step. As you go from here to here, you have to flip it upwards, back and forth. So we're going to say 3 over 2. To take it to this current position, we're going to be multiplying it by 2 pi. It has to change or being get reversed to 2 pi over 3. So we have 2 pi times 2 and 1 times 3, we end up having 4 pi over 3, which is the final answer for the period. Now, I truly hope that you found this current question helpful and beneficial. Now, stay tuned for the upcoming uh, releases in which we are going to have a series, numerous questions that are surely going to support you in terms of the preparation for the MSAT physics and mathematics. Don't forget to take a look at the video description for all of these links related to important courses, workshops, tools, and membership videos. Some videos we are going to be releasing addressing key important questions 
questions from the MSAT examination are going to be dedicated for the channel members. So if you're interested in that as well, take a look at the video description for all of these details. In the meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe, click and smash that like button, and I'll see you in the upcoming video.